Hey YouTube, it's ICU, and today we have something very important to discuss in the world of iOS as well as jailbreaking. But first, I am going to be holding an all new giveaway. The prize will be up to you guys. I'll mention some details on that in just a second. Be sure to stay tuned and also give this video a huge thumbs up in anticipation of a brand new giveaway. So, Today's news. Unfortunately, I didn't want to be right about this, guys, but as I said yesterday, Apple was prepping iOS 9.3.1 for release to the masses. Today, on the exact same day that both the new 9.7 inch iPad Pro as well as the iPhone SE launched, the company released the minor 9.3.1 update without even putting it through beta stages like I predicted yesterday. So we're here now on Apple's developer portal, which is at least partially accessible without having to sign in. Let's go ahead and get a close up of this. When we scroll down, we now have iOS 9.3.1 and for its post date it's today's date March 31st 2016. Now this of course will impact the release of the next untethered jailbreak utility. For those of you who don't know what iOS 9.3.1 offers let me be quick. It offers one thing and one thing only, a fix for an issue that is actually occurring with certain web links and opening them inside of stock applications as well as third-party applications. And it seems to really only come about when a user installs and opens and starts to interact with an application that uses deep linking files and specifically huge and overly huge deep linking files. Now I go fully into depth on that subject and the issue in yesterday's video. I will have have it linked on your screens right now and I also discussed the jailbreak implications that iOS 9.3.1 poses but we're going to try to keep things very short in today's video for one reason the launch of the aforementioned devices the iPhone SE as well as the 9.7 inch iPad Pro I'm going to be giving one away so again be sure to rate this video up and you'll actually find additional information and instructions on how to vote for which device you want in the corresponding unboxing videos for these two new devices so be sure to Stay tuned for those. If you're watching this at a later date, I will have them linked down below in the more info. They are coming soon. So again, be sure to stay tuned. Also click that subscribe button below if you have yet to. That way you will be fully notified when I push those videos out. Remember, iOS 9.3.1 is a very, very small update just to fix that issue that exists inside of iOS 9.3. And it will likely push back the release of the untethered jailbreak, but hopefully not by long since the firmware is already here and didn't have to go through beta stages, unlike its predecessor, which underwent seven betas. Remember, of course, this means developers will need time to test iOS 9.3.1 and today's new devices. There is an individual who claims to already have a jailbreak, but remember, until he actually contributes to the community, we don't know for certain. The main developers on the scene are Taiji and Pangu. We need to keep our attention pointed toward them. Again, it's great news we didn't have to wait long for iOS 9.3.1, and that does bode well for the release of the next jailbreak. So I'm going to keep you guys completely updated on the entire situation as it unfolds. Remember, this is just one of those weird things in the world of iOS and jailbreaking. My job here is to keep you fully updated and informed. Remember, the situation is dynamic, not static. Things are always changing and shifting. For even more jailbreak related details, definitely check out my video for iOS 9.3 because nothing has really shifted since then, save the fact that we now have 9.3.1 to correct that very minor issue. Stay tuned for complete details. Like me on Facebook and follow me on Twitter for even more updates. And until next time, this is ICU signing out. Join the iCrack Your Advice community on Patreon to help out the channel and to be featured in videos similar to these top contributors. Click the link on your screens now if you're on desktop or check below.